think I'm in a city park right now. I just crossed over into New York from Pennsylvania. I'm in a little town called Port Jarvis. Found me a clock. I'm trying to find the Upper Delaware River. And I got some time to kill before I want to camp tonight. So I'm just checking out this little small town. On my drive in, I saw some awesome looking houses, but I've tried to get them, but I don't know if I can find some parking spot, but it's a real cute little town. I mean, it really is. I'll let you check it out with me. We'll go see what we can find, but I found this little park in the middle of the town, so I figured I'd stop and check it out. You wouldn't believe how I had to park. I know that's a pretty sad park job, isn't it? But I got a little man sitting in the car. But, um, anyway, cool little park. Okay, I guess I found me a Civil War cannon. And, um, go check out that monument right there. See if we can see who it is. But there's no shot on it. But I'm going to get a look at the detail in that, um, pretty cool. I just drove about five miles on the windiest road I know of. And it, believe it or not, all the traffic was going in the opposite way and all the scenery was on this side. So I had to figure out a way to spin the scamp around and come back this way so I'd see, you know, what everybody was stopping to look at. But anyway, that's up a Delaware River below me. I hope y'all can see it. I hope I'm getting a good shot, but it's pretty nice, pretty cool. Hope you can't hear too much of the car running, but I got a little man in the car and I want the AC on him, so I kept it running. A little patient too, baby. He just sits in that car with AC and he just waits for me to come back. But, and I just stop and check everything out. But this is really pretty up here. Look how tall these mountains are. Pretty nice, really is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I know those people down there are having a blast. For everyone always asks me about the brakes on the on the trailer, I don't have any problems with them. I mean. Look at the road I'm traveling on. That's the road right there, about four or five miles of that. And I had to go down there and turn around, come back, get on this side of the road. About a winding road, look at that road. There ain't no joke right there. Nothing but curves, winding road turns. He's trying. He made it. A little plaque right here, Upper Delaware Scenic Bypass. I guess the worst part is over with, but back there, it was unreal, man, but really. This is downtown Main Street, but really a cute little town, I mean. I'm headed back to Interstate 84 so I can get going on up to Newberry. Spend the night in Cracker Barrel tonight. I wanted to check out some of the designs in the building, but those two homes I saw on the main drag, they were unreal. I mean, they were huge. Okay, now I'm leaving Pennsylvania because you drive across this bridge, you're back in Pennsylvania. So now I'm going back into New York. And this is one of those open bridges which I think are pretty cool hopefully y'all can get it but pretty wild kind of like pulls a car all over the place but I me mean, that's pretty special turn that train right around and send it back the other direction but they need to upkeep it a little bit more but it's all actually on the back side of a shopping center it was pretty hard to find but I found it they got a bunch of um, passenger cars too but I'm, I'm trying to stay out of the sun because it is really about near trip 
it is really bright up here. I'm bright out here. New York and Greenwood Lake. Pride of Delaware. Pride of Delaware, they need to do a little bit of upkeep on it. I just noticed they each say a different thing. This one here says Chestnut Hill. But it's still New York. Greenwood Lake passenger car. I think that's pretty cool. I love finding these old trains and locomotives and cabooses. I mean, I guess you could just say I'm, I'm obsessed with trains or something. I've just, I've always enjoyed them. But, like I said, this was back behind a shopping center, but I found her. I believe I found the diner cars, but the sun is beating down so bad. I, I don't even know if y'all will be able to see that, but it's pretty nice. I mean, they could be restored if they wanted to put some time and effort into them, but I don't know. You never know what's going on in this world this day and time, but there's actually two of them. Pretty sweet. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and check out the locomotive. I've seen it when I first came in, so I'm gonna go over there and check that out. But this was gold mine. I love this right here. I just stumbled upon it. Most of the stuff I film and stuff, I have no idea. I just stumble upon it and say, hey, I need to check that out and share it. Let's go check out the locomotive. It's really a shame that thing hasn't been taken care of more than it is. I mean, that thing's in pretty bad shape. It's engine number 935. NYGL a lot of potential there the whole place just looks like a scrapyard basically pretty sad though oh that's a locomotive 833 radio equipped airy I just stopped wanted to check out that home right there I just thought that was so cool Check out that one right there. Look at the artwork in it. Unreal. This is the one that caught my eye. And it's a funeral home. But that is one pretty building right there. Right next to the hospital too. I guess they ain't gotta go too far, do they? But to me that's beautiful. Give him a little man a, a little bit of a break before we go to Crack Barrel spend the night. Ready to go? Go bye bye. Go bye bye. Go on ahead, get up in there. Come on. And there he goes. He's good to go. Hey, my old little man. Them old little man right there. Hey, my old little man. Get some water. Get some water. You got water over there, baby. Then my big boy, aren't you? Yep. 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 